EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New York Giants and the Arizona Cardinals. set to put his foot into this one and this one is underway here on EA Sports and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 First and ten. To throw, it's Murray. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 41. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. He's at the 30, 10, 5, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage of what's going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Takes it at the seven. Offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. From the gun, Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 34 yards that time. Well, far, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. 
They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it. And the Giants are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. But to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline, and now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Right it in there every now and then. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. A quick throw, but incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Jones to throw on third down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. They'll run with Barkley. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. After run, seven nothing. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The ball on the 8 still could get a first down technically, second and 7. Now Murray off play action. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Murray now to throw. 
over the middle, complete. That's Brown. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Here's second and nine. He's got Bellinger. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Barkley inside handoff. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here we go on fourth down. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A first down carry for Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Giants will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gano now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score Giants 14. 14 Cardinals 3. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Going deep for Hopkins, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. 
So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. From the gun, a give to Connor. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's Murray. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession. 